probably. Um, digestive, I'm pretty sure. Did I hear about the passing of Ray Liotta? Yep, I did. Sad, um, when you go in like your 60s. It's, it's pretty, like it's pretty young, really. Um, I don't know, like, what kind of, like, underlying health conditions he may have had, but, um, he apparently, um, like, this could be wrong, but I think he went in his sleep from a heart attack. That's a good way to go, that's, um, I mean, uh, it's a good way to go. I in a way. He, he, he didn't die violently, you know. It's sad man lived a good life. Yeah, he did. So we got that digestive. There was also the, um, one of the founding members of Depeche Mode, the drummer. Can't quite recall his name. I'm not like super heavy into Depeche Mode, but I do know who they are. I've been watching a bunch of his movies, including some of the ones that most people don't know. He was also in like, um, he had like, a, sort of like a cameo role in Sin City 2. That was interesting. He's got a unique look. Don't push hooligan. Woo! Woo! And then take your time. Maybe a bit later. Maybe a bit later. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have a look at Big Bro. Did you know he was almost picked to be in Vice City? I can believe that. All this trash. Can't we do anything with it? We can take it to Hard Off. Okay. Boys, boys, boys. That's what that kanji is. Boys, boys, boys. This is a boys club. And there's uh, Big Bro right there. No, no, Big Bro's right there. I'm sorry. Join the club. Try with us. My best bro. Alright. Uh, I think we can still talk to Bro. Yep. Oh dear, I've gained weight again. You guys have a hard off in Australia? No, unfortunately not. But it's where I get most of my, well, where I got most of my stuff. Nowadays, hard off in Japan is picked clean by eBay uh, resellers, so it's no longer the, the haven it once was. They do import, they do, um, but I can't be bothered. Like, um, half of the, the thrill of going to a hard-off is finding something in the, um, the heavily reduced bins, you know? Got the counter. There we go. Sexy cologne. Sexy. This is what it's like at the karaoke bars and the izakayas in Japan. Someone blocking off that one toilet. Oops. I just want to look, bro. I just want to look. Bro. Just wanna look. Uh, oh, I'm sure you can still find some really cool stuff there. It's probably cost a lot more, yeah. I still plan to hit them up when I go to Japan. At least you're better than... Super potato, yeah. Super potato is for um, the tourists that don't know any better. They're like, ooh, chrono trigger in the box. How much is that? Like 10,000 yen. I was like, eh, eh. Well, actually, that's actually cheap for chrono trigger nowadays, isn't it? How much does chrono trigger in the box go for? Like on eBay. Like, let me, let me just check eBay. Chrono trigger. SNES box. No, I'll just look for Chrono Trigger. eBay. Don't worry, we'll have the answer, this answer soon. 
Ugh. Chrono Trigger DS is selling for Australian 117.50. That's disgusting. Um, just the cartridge used is selling for AU thirty-eight dollars. Oh, a really old looking one is selling for forty. Okay. Wow, the Nintendo DS Chrono Trigger is selling for a lot of money. That is very weird to me. I haven't seen like a, a SNES one in the box yet. Oh, okay, here's one. Okay, there's one in, in Japan in the box. A hundred bucks. Another one is selling for sixty dollars. That's quite a price variance. Okay, I thought it was it was like a a very sought after item, but I guess I'm wrong. The last item that I bought at um Art Off was a um Sega CD version of Shadowrun. And I got that for eighty five dollars. No, sorry, I'm I tell lies. I got that on eBay. And I bought it knowing that, you know, with all the Shadowrun stuff that was coming out at the time, I thought, okay, lock it in now. But nowadays, if I look for Shadowrun Sega CD, how much is it selling for? Fuck my life. Australian five hundred and fifty dollars. There's one selling it for $350. That is disgusting. Anywho, it's a video game. I think you're thinking of Chrono Cross for the PlayStation 1. That one still goes for quite a bit of money. Do I have that? I do believe I have a, Jap a, ja a Japanese version of that game. I also have... um. I have a Jap the Japanese version of a lot of um, PlayStation games, but I mean, you know, like um, Suikoden, it doesn't really go for a lot of money, um, as far as I'm aware. But I don't buy them for the, you know, for for monetary value to flip them. I buy them because I like them and I want to keep them. But there are so many people that go there and like, oh yeah, great, I'll buy the game this price and I'll flip it on eBay for this price, and like they these people. Are human garbage. The last time I've seen that at my local video game store complete was 175 for the North American version. Yep, the North American version of Suikoden um, complete, very, very expensive. Like, as in, don't even bother looking for it expensive. Oh, and Sega Saturn games? Like, um, American Sega Saturn games, holy shit. I was shocked. Alright, let's have a look at the Don's place. Don Cornholio. TP, TP for bunghole. No. No, Tiffa, come back. Why? <laughs> you do know what kind of den of iniquity this is, don't you? Well, yeah. And then Eris is like, ha ha ha, I have, I have best idea, ha 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 ha, we make you dress up as girl, ha 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 ha. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll do it. I don't care. Oh, I fucking love the Chrono series, I just can't justify spending that much money on a game. No one can, dude. I could get a modified console for, and play it on a burnt disc for sure. For the same price, you know. Final Fantasy is a scam, you are a scam life, you are a scam. But you, you are correct. It's a scam in that it's never final. It's true. I think, I think it's time for Square to do away with um, Final Fantasy as like, like start changing the title. Like it's 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 had its time. It's up to Final Fantasy fifteen now. It's get it's getting a bit sick. Final Fantasy is is a series I appreciate, but I would never play. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Final Fantasy almost was Square's last game, yep. Like the original one for the Famicom, yep. A game that I intend to play one day. Yep. Just wait, I've got a cute friend I want to bring along. Ares, I can't... 
areas I can't. Final Fantasy X was the last one I played that I enjoyed. World building was great. I I, I got really turned off after I think um, Final Fantasy VIII pissed me off. Like you know how you, you had to draw the um, the magic. That that whole thing pissed me off. Um, as well as like some of the characters in that storyline, in that story. And then I didn't like the aesthetic of Final Fantasy IX. And then Final Fantasy X came along and I was just like, oh, I'm over it. But um, now that I'm older and more punctual, uh, I'll definitely give these games a, a bit more of a um, chance. Who's a do? Who's a who's a do? There are you. I have to cheer you now. There we go. And cheers to you too, Life. Nice. You been playing anything lately, loser? Loser, not loser. Anyone that calls Uzadu Loserdu will be banned. Except for me, because it's my channel. No, you've been doing some you've been doing something other than Death Stranding lately, haven't you? Or have you just been clocking that? I reckon I reckon the last time I watched your stream, that was the last time you streamed. I reckon you've been a busy boy. Although I don't know if these remakes if those are remakes on PC now. Yes, true, the, the, um, the Pixel Remaster ones, which I will never touch. Dork, Stranded, that is very rude. Maybe, maybe, um, you lack uh, the intelligence required to play a Kojima, a, a Hideo Kojima Strand game. After Death Stranding, the director's cut came out, so I got that in 100%. Yeah. Alright. Now we're going to be doing the best mission or side missions in the game of Final Fantasy VII. We're going to turn Cloud into a girl because that what is what he is. Okay, good, 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 good. We can upgrade some of the, um, the weapons. Okay, finally, we can uh, exploit some of the um, the combinations now. Me thrill, yep. Me thrill, me four. The ending of Death Stranding is a massive, massive fail. Massive, massive, massive. Wow. This, this, this is a hot take. I liked it. Ooh. Your opinion. My opinion. Death battle. All right, time to take that Titan Bangle shit off. Time to upgrade to that Mithril. Fuck yeah. Oh, you're looking so much better now, Ares. We just need one more... One more materia. To bling her out. But I'm sure that I can find one. So... As you can see, the, the side effect of grinding for that long had the, um, the added bonus of having a lot of gill. So... Do we do the squat thing now? No, I don't want to do a... No, no, no. First of all, I want to save. No, no, no. No, we'll, we'll do the, the dress thing first. Yo, I fell. PS5 owner. Though that's a game I never really had the urge to play. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, Death Stranding on PS5 would probably be a nice experience, like a chill experience, I guess. I just... I, I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I'm happy that, like... Uzzu likes it. I'm happy that he likes it. Everything else was well executed, but the ending just sucked. I feel betrayed on a level that matches Gantz. Oh, don't bring up Gantz. That just makes me sad now. Excuse me, I'd like to get a dress. Might take a little time. That's alright. What's the problem? My father, he's been in the slump because he's a drunk. Nice. Yo, a fellow. Spellcheck is really failing today. Yeah. Spellcheck is the Antichrist. He's five owners living in a different universe. I fucking feel that, man. But, um... I have no incentive to buy a PS5. There isn't, like, a, a generational sort of game dropping for that console yet. In my opinion. I guess I'm in another galaxy. Oh! 
he's he's uh, subtly hinting that he is a PS5 owner. Far, far away, I guess you could say. So you're saying we can't get address? Uh, we can't get address unless we do something about your father. Yes, I'm sorry, he's caused so much trouble. Yeah, I'll help him. Yeah. We need to make Cloud look like a girl, so. Help my crazy old dad. I feel like you are living an honest life with a PC and gaming on Linux. I am. Like, I am eschewing the Windows life, and I've eschewed it for the past... How long has it been now? Three years? Three years I've been a Linux boy? It's been great. I love it. Okay, so first of all we need to go to the bar. Gaming on Ybox. Mm, in here? Yep. Pretty sure this is the bar. You. I own the clone shop, but I ain't your father. Wow, you're drunk. Make me some clothes. <laughs> I don't like. I don't, I don't make men's clothes. Now, I feel I'm making anything right now. Clad, wait over here. I'm, I'm gonna try to talk to him and make him understand. You know, Mister. He always said that just once. He wants to dress up like a woman. With titties and a dick. It's all he wants in life. So I want to make his his wish come true. What? That dude, that muscly dude, wants to look like a girl. Shh. Yo, yo, keep it chill, keep it chill. So you gotta like make me dress, and make him look all fucked up, or what? Might be interesting. Might be nice. Get a bit bored. Will you do it? Hell yeah. But only if I can take pictures while you're getting changed. Oh, okay, um, okay, um, soft. And something that shimmers. This is giving me, uh, Total Recall vibes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Why did they have to remake this game with pretty visuals and yet somehow destroy the magic? Exactly life. Beautiful game. Beautiful game. But that Nomura magic fucking destroyed that game. And it's only part one of three, of three failures. But again, other people hated Death Stranding, but other people liked it, and it's the same with any game. There are a lot of people out there that love Final Fantasy VII Remake. I am not one of them. I watched Mark play it, and that was fun. It's fun watching other people play it, and then like, you know, um, it's like an event, rather than you playing a game in that case. Yeah. Once they started making over-stylized photorealistic graphics, they started to forget about the user and the user's imagination. I think so too. I also watched Mark play it, but totally game on rails, yep. And that's the same feeling I felt like with um, Final Fantasy 13 with Lightning. I bought a PS3 solely for Final Fantasy 13 because that's, you know, the kind of consumer garbage I am. And I was very sorely disappointed. That's another game I'll eventually play, Final Fantasy XIII, but that's way in the future. I started playing the remake, didn't get far before I dropped it. Let me just quickly get some of the gamer grease off my nose. It's making my glasses slide. Hmm. Hmm, got it. You know, I've got a friend that has the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> Hold it. Uh, yep. Yep. Not gonna forget that. Not gonna forget that image. <laughs> I could not do... I could not do more than five hours of Final Fantasy XIII and had to give up on it. Like, I think I got to... What did I get to? I think we got to like a theme park and there was like the girl with like pink hair and there was like the the black guy with the bird in his head and they were talking about something and I just I was like I, I'm checking out 
I'm checking out. I can't take this anymore. I've been an owner since 2020. You really want to know what's going to piss you off the most? My buddy at PlayStation Canada hooked me up with it since he wasn't guaranteed to get one through work and getting two. I got a call when I was grocery shopping at Walmart. I was so caught off guard I accidentally broke my trolley. I mean, that's what happens. Like, it's, it's, um... It's probably like something you want to keep on the, like the low low. You don't want everyone to know how you got something like that, but like we get it. Like in order to obtain these very um, scarce commodities, you, you kind of have to know someone that knows someone. But you know, it's good that you got yours. Um, 13 was okay if you knew what you were getting into. Now I know for a fact that you, you know like um, that game more than most of us because you stuck it out, and you got past the, the on-rails bit, and you got out into the open world. I, I just... I, I lack the patience. I think PS5 will either be the longest cycle or the shortest gen cycle. I don't know. Like... The, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think it will have a long cycle simply because of the tech that's inside it. Like, to upgrade from that... I think we're fairly difficult, especially in it like a because we've been fucked by the pandemic. I think it's just like affecting so many things. So yeah, there are just not enough units out there in the world to justify game development. Uh, I would have to agree with that as well. So I think now, if I go back to the shop, I will be able to get the dress. I think that's how it works. I'm gonna drop a save here because I'm scared. I don't want to be fucking this up. Bum, bum, bum. Probably why Sony is getting into the PC market and the NFT market and the and the blockchain. <laughs> they're going to they're sell Tomb Raider IP for peanuts to get into the NFTs. Like, GG Square. GG. Then again, I dropped 2K on a gaming laptop. Of course, I'm biased. Hey man, you know, whatever makes you happy. And that's what it comes down to, like, you know, there are like movies out there where like, you know, Ron Tomatoes gives it like, you know, fucking 5% and then the audience hates it. But like, you go to it and you like it. So does that make it, does that mean that everyone else's opinion is incorrect? No, it just means that, you know, um, you got some enjoyment out of something. That's why, like... I used to put a lot more um, stock into what critics say about things, but now I'm like, I would prefer to, you know, I'll experience myself and I'll trust my own feelings, thank you very much. Like, maybe afterwards, if I want to, like, psychoanalyze it, I'll have a look at what other people say about it, sure. If you have to buy two NFTs to get a Hulk Laura Craft, I am out. Oh, you're here. It's ready. Go try on the dress. That's it. We want that silky dress. All right, Cloud. Make sure to hide your dick bulge. Oh, come out. Take a peek, Aerith. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, okay. You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like you. <laughs> What'd you tell him? She told him that you're like them. Here with the program. Uh, I come here because you provide a satisfactory echo chamber for my shitty boomer takes. Wow. And yet accurate. Alright. It's time to get the squats on. There's Big Bro. You're the one who wants to be cute. Yes, yes. And the wig? Give me wig. Urgh. Big Bro. That's right. 
Let's do squats with big bro. Fuck it. Yeah. The beautiful bro. I like the um you see the ring? It's got that that dude like I like that picture. Okay, it was a sunny day. I got lobstered. Time for bed. Have a good night. Oh, sorry to hear that you got sunburned. Yeah. Um good night life. I'm sure I'm sure sooner or later we'll have that chat. I'm sure I'm sure that sooner or later we will. Probably better to catch me during the week. Um on Discord. And uh, we'll set up like a little chatty chat. Yeah. But yes, you you put on some chamomile lotion and uh, all that stuff. Du, 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 du. Okay, I think I got it. I got sidetracked last night. Mark came over and we played Momotaro Dentetsu. Remind me what that game is in English. Dentetsu is like legend. Momotaro. I, I think Momotaro Dentetsu like is it, it translates to something completely different sounding in English. Anyway, time to get my squats in. Oh, oh, um, is there a retro achievement for this shit? It probably is. To at least 20 squats there is, yep. It's like a Monopoly style. Th uh, I think I've seen that before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen him and Andy play it online. No need to practice. Shit. Big bro. Give me my 20 squats, please. Anyway, bedtime. Talk later. See ya. Alright, we're gonna have to get the, um, we're gonna have to load a save. Ooh! Shut up, don't cry, just because you lost. Ugh. Bro's fist of steel cut to the bone. See you, life. Alright. Well, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop another save. Uh, you know what? No. Mm, no, I am. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, drop the save here. We'll load it up again. We'll get them squats in. Get them deep squats. 20 or more. So basically, don't mess up once. We can do that. I'm built for it. Oh, no, not that one. The one before. Ah, messed up. Okay, mm this one. Right. Oh. 
I'm gonna do the whole thing again. Yeah, that's it's fine. Don't worry. Speed run, speed run. Go on here. No, okay, no, I've got to talk to the, the dress, but no, I've got to... Did I buy the stuff? Okay, at least I did that. 